I took part in the GMTK Jam 2024. The theme was Built to Scale. I ended up creating an atmospheric first person horror puzzle game called The Scale Master. In the game, you are trapped by a sadistic captor known as The Scale Master. You must decipher clues and place objects on a scale to reach the exact weight needed to escape. But get it wrong and a spiked ceiling will come crashing down. Inspired by TV shows like Taskmaster and the Crystal Maze, I thought their blend of inventive challenges, intense puzzles, and the taunting banter of the hosts would make for an interesting horror game. Unlike the Saw movie franchise, which leans heavily into gore, I wanted to create a psychological challenge that keeps players on edge, while also being a bit goofy. I started by building a simple prototype to test the main mechanic, picking up objects. Since I hadn't created this type of mechanic before, I chose what seemed like at least to me, the easiest approach. The player uses a raycast to detect objects they can grab. When the player interacts with an object, it calls a function and takes in the position of a target. This target is attached to the front of the player. The object's state is then switched to grabbed and then moves towards that target position. With the prototype done, I moved on to creating the first puzzle room and setting up the visuals to nail the eerie atmospheric tone I was going for. I used a mix of purchased assets and custom models I made in Blender. Then I added some lighting to help with the unsettling mood. I built the spike ceiling next with a collision area to detect when the player is directly below, triggering a game over. To help the player I added a decal to show the target weight needed and placed a note in the room with a clue that appears when interacted with. Finally I created the scale with simple logic. It detects objects placed on it, adds up their weights and sends that total to its parent. The parent then checks if the weight has changed, updates the scale's display and checks if the target weight has been reached. If it has, it stops the ceiling and opens the door to the next room. Next, I built the tutorial room where the player is first introduced to the scale master. They wake up to his voice echoing through speakers as basic mechanics are explained. The scale master communicates through an array of strings that I supply the dialogue manager I created. The manager reveals text dynamically, calculating the speed of the text based on the character's length. For the scale master's voice, I added a short radio static sound effect that plays at random pitches while the scale master speaks, giving the voice a distorted, unsettling feel. I can also pass a signal as an optional parameter to the dialogue manager to trigger specific functions after the scale master finishes talking. For example, I can open doors or unlock new actions for the player. Finally, I included some basic prompts to guide the player on how to move and pick up objects. In between the main puzzle rooms, I created transition rooms. These rooms are designed in a similar way to the tutorial room. The skill master also takes these moments to taunt the player, but it also acts as a short break in between puzzles. I added two ending screens. If the player gets crushed by spikes, they see the unworthy ending. And if they manage to complete all the puzzles, they will see the worthy ending. Each ending plays a random snippet of dialogue from the skill master, letting him have the final word on your performance. Once the core gameplay was done, I focused on polishing the game. I added a simple main menu with basic settings. Adding to the atmosphere, I added sound effects like object interactions, the spike ceiling, footsteps, doors opening and closing, along with eerie ambient music to build tension without hopefully being overbearing. Finally, I did testing and bug fixing before submitting the game. The feedback from playtesters was really positive. The game scored well in the game jam and even made it onto a few streams and let's plays, which is great to see. Players seem to really enjoy the retro aesthetic, the atmosphere, the concept, my take in the theme, as well as the execution and polish. As for the negative feedback, most of it was stuff I expected due to running out of time, such as a lack of a pause menu. Some of the puzzles were a little bit too easy. It would have been great to have just one more that was slightly harder, making the text clearer on the scales, and the main menu was a bit plain. There were also a few interesting pieces of feedback that I hadn't considered. During the stream by Firebelly, after completing the game, he wanted to let the player die, just to see what would happen. But after completing the game, he had to go through the entire tutorial again. Adding some tracking for the tutorial completion in my game manager would have fixed this. 
Another bit of feedback that I wasn't expecting was that some players didn't read the notes and give them clues to solve in the puzzles. Maybe adding a note in the tutorial room or having the skill master mention that they left a clue on the wall could have made this a little bit clearer. Working on the Scale Master was super fun. It was honestly the most fun I've had in a game jam to date. The process of coming up with the concept, creating the atmosphere, and seeing how players responded was incredibly rewarding. With that in mind, I've already begun developing a new game that builds on the core concept of the Scale Master, with a lot more variety, new types of puzzles, additional mechanics, multiple endings, and a few scares. Hopefully, I will be sharing updates on that soon.